we make a little bit. Not as much as I'd like, but yeah, we do make a little bit. Home football games can mean more revenue and customers for campus bars. Good evening, I'm Kristen Mayorano. Thanks for staying with us tonight. Many Purdue students, fans, and alumni didn't get a front row seat to the game. Instead of braving the cold, they took to the bars to watch the Boilermaker matchup. Alexandra Dyro joins us now for more with tonight's top story on the economic benefits bars see on game days like today. It may not come as a surprise that many fans like to take in the game at a bar with a beer, but campus bars don't just benefit from the game day traffic. Those familiar with what Purdue students refer to as breakfast club won't be surprised to hear that the early morning bar crawl spells more money for bars. Campus bars are cashing in on the Purdue community by opening early for games and other recreational activities like breakfast club. Basically, they, they dress up like Halloween and um, just come out and have a good time. It's um, very controlled. We have about nine doormen on for Breakfast Club that walk around and make sure the kids aren't over drinking or um, getting unruly. Jake's Roadhouse owner, Angie Brown, says her bar gets busy, but the money coming in is nothing that would compare to a Saturday night. We make a little bit. Not as much as I'd like, but yeah, we do make a little bit. Brown says Jake's continues to be a breakfast club stop because the students enjoy it so much. Brown says what Jake's does make in early morning revenue is not a large profit, but it is a profit. It's a decent amount. It's, um, it's a, a way of getting our name out there, too. I mean, as far as um, keeping the kids coming here and um, becoming a habit form of, you know, Jake's being their place that they want to hang out. Even bars that stay close for the breakfast club rush prepare for the large number of patrons and alumni coming back to their old stomping grounds. You never know the number coming through, but we're always ready for a busy day. As far as the alumni, yes, it's always a larger number because we've been in the same location since 1919. Both Brown and Cook say they are extra vigilant with bar security on game days. Both say they bulk up the staff working the doors and those checking IDs. Alexandra Dyro, News Channel 18.